Hi, I'm Dave Wolf, and welcome back to the Firehouse. We're here today to discuss the proper application of dome clamps to gasoline cargo tanks. We have two styles of dome lamps, one of them being the strong back style dome lift, which is what I'm going to do first here in this segment. Now, a couple of things about a gasoline cargo tank when it rolls over with this style of dome lid on it. You can have leaks in a number of places. The first piece of advice I give you is attack the largest leak first and then move on from there. Don't go for perfection on your first shot. What you want to do is stop the majority of the product that's leaking out of the container and then move on to the slower leaks. Some of the places for the smaller leaks are actually going to be around the collar itself. This collar is got a gasket underneath it and what can happen sometimes is when the tank rolls over you may develop a small little leak. Again, we'll come back later and fix that, but right now I want to talk about how you do take care of that. In a lot of cases, what you may have is you may have a tendency to want to go down here and tighten up these bolts. These are made out of brass, and if you over tighten these, in fact, what you'll end up doing is stripping them and making the leak possibly worse. So instead of doing that, it would probably be a better idea to take a blunt piece of wood wherever it's leaking and just pound on this a little bit. When you pound on it, a lot of times the gasket will recede and you won't have much more of a leak. Other places for small leaks are actually going to be inside this or coming from underneath the strong back area right in here. Now there will be a very small leak. It's coming out of the three pound vent that we'll show you right now. As you can see, the three pound vent is actually submerged in liquid when the dome lid is closed. You'll have a small leak coming right out from where you can see my hand placed right here. There's, again, it's not going to be a very large leak but probably the only way to stop that is going to be to take something like a blood pressure cuff, strip it, tuck the rubber up in there, and then pump up the cuff to where it will actually seal that leak. Again, these will be minor leaks. The major leak that you're going to have is actually going to be coming from around the dome lid itself. For example, where I've got my hand right now is currently where it's leaking. That is largely because of the gasket in there it may be worn, it may be brittle, uh, it may just not be properly fitted in there. So that is where the majority of your leak is actually going to come from. In order to take care of that leak, then we have to start talking about the application of dome clamps. Uh, the application of dome clamps uh, have to be done properly and, uh, and it, that's not a difficult point to do, but in a lot of cases, uh, you, too much force is used, in which case can actually make your leak worse. The dome lid itself is actually the five pound spring operated pressure leap device. The way that this operates is there's actually a spring in between the strong back and the dome lid itself. Uh, that is set at five pounds of pressure, so when it exceeds five pounds of pressure, it's designed to relieve and then reseat itself. So that is what we have to overcome with the dome clamp itself. One thing about applying any type of dome clamp to this unit is, and keep in mind when you're doing this in the real world to an actual gasoline cargo tank, is when you apply this dome clamp or any dome clamp, you in effect are shutting down the biggest pressure relief device on the trailer. So, once that's done, if there is a source of ignition, there is a risk of a blevy, boiling liquid expanding vapor explosion. You need to keep that in mind in the event that there is an ignition source. Of course, uh, we should do everything we can do to make sure that that's not going to occur before we apply this clamp. The application of this particular clamp, something to keep in mind about it, is that when you take it out of its container and when you take any clamp out of its stored position, it's typically going to be in the fully lockdown position. So, in fact, when you come over here to apply this, if you're going to put it on, if you haven't loosened it up, this is what will occur. When this occurs, of course, you're not going to be able to get the edges of the hooks around the top of the dome lid itself. So, prior to coming down to the cargo tank itself, loosen this up, open it up as uh, fairly wide, and then when you come down here, you'll be ready to make application of it. Once you place the hooks around either end of the lid, it's a simple matter of taking the screw and tightening it down. Once you put the dome clamp on here, what you want to do is begin to tighten it, but don't tighten it too much and don't get greedy. Once you've significantly reduced, as you've seen I've done here, move on to your next dome. Go ahead and handle that leak that's worse than this one is right now, and we can come back later and make some adjustments to make sure that this leak even drops down a little bit further. As you can see, I didn't use a lot of force to tighten this down. On any dome clamp, you don't want to use a lot of force. By using too much force, in fact, what you'll do is you'll put so much pressure in the center of this dome lid that the edges will come out. 
So what you need to do is clamp it, reduce it as much as possible, and if you can't get it any, any, any more, you can't get it to slow down anymore, stop at that given point. Now, what other things can be done after you have your clamp on here. For example, in these sides over here, you could take some wooden door shims, put them in against each other, and literally that will take even pressure pressing it down on the dome lid between the strong back and the dome lid. You can put them on either side, and that will probably take care of any little nonsense leaks that you have at the end. Now this is instruction on a strong back style dome lid. The truth of the matter is, is it's hard to tell the difference between a 306 and a 406 dome lid. You can have strong back styles and latch style dome lids. For that instruction, go to our other video that has latch style dome lids.